Hey friends, how's it going? David Potts here, and an entry in my practice log, right? And these are the lessons where I sort of show you what I'm working on as a guitarist and share with you some of the insights I'm picking up along the way. And in this one, I'm pretty excited because I put together an original song. First time I've done that in years. It's an instrumental song. I'm gonna play it for you in a minute, right? It's only one or two minutes long. And stick around if you want to get some insight into sort of how I put it together. And the, the, the sort of answer was this. I'm watching basketball, it's the, the NCAA Finals last night. Um, and it's one of my favorite ways to practice guitar is when I'm sort of focusing on something else. And like I know enough of what I wanna be working on that I can sort of um, watch the game and sort of, you know, get my hand to doing something on repeat, on repeat, on repeat, and mess around and have fun with basically not like over focusing on you know the frets and the strings i'm sort of i'm in a groove and it and what happened was i'm doing some travis picking stuff and i was sort of intentionally uh, taking what i had learned on some recent songs and trying to just mix them together in some different simple ways and what happened was a few melodies got stuck in my head i was playing them over and over again and they, they sort of stayed in my head and uh, a few other melodies came and i was sort of trying to connect them and combine them so let me play it for you here uh, stick around if you want, again, some insight into how I put this together. I also have the notes in the tabs. They're available for you. They're at playsongnotes.com. Uh, thanks to all of you who support me on Patreon. Uh, the support is tremendously appreciated. I hope you're appreciating the PDFs you get, which is available for this lesson as well, as ways to follow along with these lessons outside of these videos. Okay, so uh, here's a playthrough. If you like it, stick around, and I'll also tell you how I uh, put it together. All right, let's do it. Okay, so let's talk about how I put that together here. So a uh, big picture context. Over the last like three months or so, I've gotten into Travis picking as part of my guitar playing a little bit. And that's basically defined by, right, this style where your thumb is like an engine, right? It's just sort of going, alternating bass notes. And then your index finger is sort of doing stuff right, with the melody notes there. Um, Travis picking was tough for me at first, and check out my earlier lessons on that if you wanna see me getting over the hump with it, right? But I've learned a few songs now. Clay Pigeons, uh, Let Him Roll by Guy Clark, uh, John Moreland, Hang Me in the Tulsa County Stars, and most recently, If I Had a Boat by Lyle Lovett, right? Now, all these use similar chords, and that's actually what I'm using in this, this song as well. And I found myself basically like taking bits and pieces of each of these songs, each of these techniques, and sort of putting them into this. That's sort of my headspace. I, I was working on the Travis Picking stuff. It's a new realm of guitar for me. I just wanted to have some fun, right? So the chords I'm playing for this, real quick, I'm going from a G, you know, just um, bass note on the third string, open second, third, and fourth string. I'm also gonna have my pinky this third fret of the second string. And then for a C, regular C chord, but I'm also gonna kinda have my pinky on that third fret sometimes. And this is because a lot of these songs do this, especially if I had a boat by Lyle Lovett is doing this, and that's the song I most recently learned. The E minor, you know, this is the E minor seven with that pinky there. The regular E minor is this, right? Sort of getting used to doing that one. And then the D uh, over F sharp is basically, your pinky is still there. So notice how my right, my left pinky here is in this third fret of the second string for so many of these chords. And I also use a, a D sus2 later in the song. But these are the sort of chords I'm playing with here, right? These are my building blocks, right? Travis picking to that. You sprinkle on some Travis picking and you'll have some, some cool stuff. But how did this start, right? Basically, the first thing I did was I came up with this uh, first progression part. It, it's pretty simple. It's kind of just like 
um, a little bit monotonous actually, and that's kind of I was I was sort of just doing this. Put my pinky down, and I thought to myself, let me go up to the open E string. this while I'm watching basketball. I'm just sort of getting that finger motion just nice and nice and um, comfortable with me. Then I thought, you know, maybe I'll go to a C um, and then back to the G, right? So I was sort of in a loop with that. And again, I'm not thinking about a song right here, but what I did was kind of come up with this tab. And this was really the first sort of like melodic phrase that it got stuck in my head and it sounded like this, right? Okay, so I actually almost made a lesson. I was like, maybe I'll record a lesson for this tonight, like a simple Travis picking sort of uh, just monotonous sort of meditative um, transition between G to C to G, right? Um, but basically, I, I was about to do that, and I'm, I'm watching the game still, and then I sort of got this other melody stuck in my head, right? And the melody was this, it was basically. And I was repeating it, right? on there is I'm started, starting on a C, la, da, da, to going down to a G, then I'm doing this D, you know, keeping the second string open, and then back to the G, and then back to the C, and repeating it, right? And that was a nice, I just like the sound of that phrase. And I sort of thought, you know, that sounds like almost the ending of a sentence, or the ending of a chorus, maybe. It kind of sounds nice and dramatic and final. And that first part I put together, just this... Sounds a bit more just pedestrian, a bit more casual and normal, almost like a verse, right? So I was sort of thinking, you know, I have a verse, kind of, and I have like an ending to a chorus. Like, how can I sort of connect them? That's what I started to mess with next. So, so I ultimately started realizing what other chords I had at my disposal, just based on this family of chords and all these songs I've been learning. So one chord that came to mind was an E minor because the E minor connects nicely to this D over F sharp I was doing, and then up to a G, you know? So I'm thinking, can I connect those somehow? But let me do Travis picking, right? So I was sort of messing with this, and a couple things happened. One was I realized that I could actually do an E minor seven, nicely to the D, right? Repeating those. And where would you go from there? What sounds good after that D? A G. And then I noticed that basically this pinky note is consistent on all these chords, right? Check this out. Then I was like excited because I'm like, oh man, I had this nice build up, this nice swell. It goes from this E minor 7, you have this constant thread of this note, right? The D over F sharp, the G, and the thread breaks for one note, but then it goes back. time that, that build up. And that's the G I wanted to end on because um, 
uh, John Prime hits that G at the end of Clay Pigeons. I thought I'd do a little reference to him there. But then I was I was pumped because I had this nice like ending, this like dramatic like uh, right. I already sort of talked about this. So I have that. Now, how can I incorporate that with the beginning of the song? It felt weird to go from the beginning, which is kind of just pedestrian, to that dramatic like build up. You know, I had to connect them somehow. Ultimately, what I ended up coming up with was this sort of middle section here. This transition between an E minor and a G, and an E minor and a G. And it's an E minor to the G. I mean, it's kind of like almost boring in the sense that it's very, very uh, mundane. But I started thinking about the melody. You know, what could the melody be here? Melody meaning like these thinnest couple strings. And what I did was I sort of um, started with this, this B note, open second string. Sort of, sort of playing with that, right? The simple dum bum 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 bum. So I was sort of messing with that a little bit, you know. So just kind of finding that pattern. Then I started thinking, you know, what if that ended a bit dramatically and it went up to end? And by the way, up I mean da 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 da. So one more time, da 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 da. So I started realizing that that is actually in the D chord, D sus two here. So then I sort of worked out this part of the bridge here. So. You know, maybe just to be totally different, I'll strum that D, that D says too. You know, and the two melody notes there are this open E string and the second fret of the B string, right? And then that fades nicely into. So then I thought I had something worked out. So I started just practicing this over and over again. And it was fun just to focus on the melody and know that my right thumb, just on all the practice I've been doing the last few weeks, was pretty good at just doing this steady bass note thing. So then I put together this whole thing and I sort of worked out uh, some of the kinks and, uh, and here we have it. So um, the tab is here. Thanks for watching this far and I hope this was helpful, helpful or, or interesting. Um, I just wanted to capture this because it was fun to sort of work something out, just something original and uh, um, you know, it was definitely something I think I'll remember and I'm glad I have. And it was a very fun game. I was sort of coming uh, to uh, fruition with composing this thing and figuring out all the chords as the game went into overtime. It was pretty exciting. So, all right, with that said, uh, I'll end this with a playthrough. But thanks all for watching. Thanks to all you who support me on Patreon and uh, through the tip jar. It's really appreciated and uh, lots of lessons coming up. So stick around um, for the videos coming soon. All right, take care, friends. Bye-bye.